Hello everyone. Thank you for joining. My name is Vinod Kumar Rahuja. I am a doctoral student at University of Nebraska Omaha. And the topic of my presentation is navigating AGL documentation, best practices to make documentation accessible and user-friendly. A brief uh, background about myself. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm a PhD student and I do research and companies engagement in open source software development. And part of uh, that engagement, I uh, regularly contribute to the AGL documentation. So that's a brief introduction about myself. I'll dive into the presentation now. So uh, this presentation comprises of two parts. First, we will look into the documentation of uh, an overview of AGL documentation. So uh, here is the link to the AGL documentation. And I click this, it opens a browser. Uh, and yeah, so here is the main page of AGL documentation. AGL documentation is divided into seven sections. Uh, first is brief introduction about AGL, what AGL is, how can we, uh, what can we do with the AGL, how to participate in AGL, what are the communication channels, platforms used, and uh, different platforms for the marketing and different platforms for the developers. Then we are uh, with the getting started. Uh, where uh, uh, is quick start, how to quickly start AGL uh, using ready-made images. Uh, and uh, so uh, similarly, so it's a uh, first getting a started section that uh, we have building AGL image section and then build and boot uh, guide profile section. Similarly, the, uh, we have second, which is hardware, like what hardware is on which AGL runs. So supported hardware and overview, it provides a complete overview of different hardware's uh, different boards. Uh, and their uh, links to the latest snapshot is also available. Similarly, uh, supported hardware images. So these are the different sections. Similarly, uh, architecture guide, which has an introduction to architecture and security section. And then we have a developer guides where uh, how to set up SDK, create a new service, create a new application, custom, create a custom recipe or generic device setup. So these kind of a things. Uh, so, and then uh, we have an API services, which is not yet developed, needs to be developed. Uh, and then we have component documentation like uh, AGL components, AGL compositor, Watman, a rule-based arbitrator, DRM lease manager, uh, Piper, and so on. And in the last section, which is how to contribute to the uh, AGL documentation for which you need to set up a Linux Foundation ID, you need to, uh, uh, how to set up a Jira and Jared, and then submitting changes and all these things. So this is how the overall is structure of it has seven sections starting and uh, hardware support, uh, architecture guideline, developer guidelines, and uh, and these different components. So this is an overall picture of the EGL. Now coming back to our uh, slide. So uh, one of the challenge of uh, documentation is. Uh, like a survey was conducted in 2017 by uh, GitHub with open source survey, and they found one of the major challenge that every other developer pointed is the documentation or the user pointed out as the documentation. So, and I'm, I'm also doing my research on the company's engagement in open source, and uh, I've, I've been involved with the AGL community, talking to a lot of people. So I talked to them, what are the major challenges? And everybody was like, uh, most of them say, yes, documentation is one of the major challenges that they face. So as a, uh, as a uh, problem with the documentation, as a result, user may struggle to navigate uh, documentation to understand how to use software effectively, which can lead to frustration, poor user experiences, outdated or incomplete documentation make it difficult, like, you know, incomplete and confusing documentation, inadequate explanation, 
or inconsistent formatting in the structure, broken links, outdated or incomplete information. Uh, these all challenges makes it difficult uh, for the user to navigate the documentation and then hence they uh, really does not uh, engage with the community and become part of the community because they they are stuck in solving those issues. So as, as a part of my engagement, I've been working on different uh, sections of the EGL documentation. And my uh, approach was more of a user approach where I took as a user approach rather than a developer approach. Uh, I'm not a Linux uh, developer or kernel, but I came to the EGL documentation, okay. Here is a, a documentation page. Can I implement it? Can I understand it? Can I get a sense of it or make a sense of it? So this is how I've been approaching AGL documentation as a user approach rather than a developer approach. So in that approach, some of the challenges that I face, I'll highlight them as like, for example, here is an example of a documentation page where um, uh, it has incomplete and confusing documentation, inadequate explanation, and incons inconsistent formatting. So for example, if you look at this, uh, here is the, uh, can you see the formatting? There are no underscores in between, but here there is an underscore in this. Similarly, there is, uh, when I was like, okay, what is Lava Lab? I don't know. If I don't know how I'm going to situate myself, rather than diving deep into the technicalities and the user need to understand where uh, they are. So if somebody has never learned of the Lava app, he'll be lost. Okay, what is Lava Lab? It's not to criticize on the one. Uh, I really appreciate the developer who has uh, contributed this uh, documentation and supported it. And but uh, and I really appreciate that because it's, uh, it's a very helpful document. But having an overview was very helpful. Like, okay, maybe... Here is an overview that Lava Lab is an automated testing framework. So this guides, okay, then they have an overview, then a user understands, okay, what technicalities I am going to dive into. And then slowly, gradually, they go into the technicality. Similarly, these uh, challenges. So uh, di diving directly to the technical is a hard port is not uh, knowing. So providing an overview will help the user. Here is a, a good example of the similar documentation. We look at the pipe uh, where we see uh, the user has, uh, the developer has provided what is an overview of pipe wire and also provided the uh, links if the user is more interested to learn more about the pipe wire. And then uh, as later on, they're diving into the APIs and all the technical details uh, of that. So uh, these are the, some of the challenges that, uh, but this is a good, we have a good example and we have yet to be improved. I would, I would not say it's a bad example, but there are areas of improvement that needs to be done and uh, approved. Uh, so, <clears throat> uh, uh, here is another example of, we have a, a documentary structure that what we need to provide in the documentation. We need to have a, uh, like, a naming convention, there are exact naming conventions. So if, if a user follows an exact naming convention as I guidelined in this, this situation of the underscore would have not arrived uh, because uh, they quickly done this and have submitted the things. Now it results at the uh, reviewer end also to follow those uh, uh, guidelines that whether these checklists are marked properly or not. And so we have a proper documentary structure getting started, one uh, underscore quick star, two uh, image, and then we have chapter, chapter number, uh, sub chapter, sub chapter name, index, and then we have a title. Every page should have a title. If the title is properly mentioned, then uh, these things will be taken care of directly. Similarly, uh, then uh, also there are broken hyperlinks in EGL. When I uh, did many of the hyperlinks are broken. 
since AGL is dependent on the Yocto, it's on the Yocto, so all the Yocto links were broken. So what I did, I used this broken hyperlink checker. I installed this. It's an open source uh, software that you can install and then check oh, which links are broken. Then I got to know, okay, these links are broken. I started slowly fixing those links. So all the, when I run this checker, all the Yocto links were broken. So which I covered it or corrected it, many of the links. At this point, all the security links are broken. That is a future work that needs to be done that I have not done it. That is the goal thing. But by installing this, you can currently check which links needs to be updated. And uh, so this is how I've been approaching EGL uh, documentation and improving it for a user experience. The future work that I'm working, uh, that is that needs to be done is uh, architecture, which is introduction and security blueprint. All the links are broken that needs to be updated and all these things uh, needs to be improved. So uh, APIs and services needs to be fixed on architecture guides uh, and in security blueprint. These are the future work that needs to be worked on the easier documentation. That concludes my question um, on easier documentation. So if you have any questions, Feel free to chime in. Thank you. And for any issues, please open uh, uh, whatever issues you face in the documentation. Uh, please feel free to open the Jira ticket. Uh, for that, you have to sign in and then uh, click this section as to create the Jira ticket so that it can be further worked on and documentation can be further improved. That concludes my section. Uh, any questions, please feel free to ask. Thank you.